Okay, let's look at another locking style. This is a rather new one that we have come out with in the last four or five months. It's uh, SI-GL42 style of uh, locking switches, about the same size as the previous one I just showed you. This one does have, however, only 15 kit models. The big difference is the fact that, yes, it does have a plastic body, but it's got a metal head on top, so it's a much stronger switch when it comes to an actuator coming towards it. It's uh, going to last a lot longer. The housing is IP67, just like the other locking switch, but we've done away with a lot of the access doors that, on the other version, on the LS42, you had to make sure you had that door, access door to the wiring, tightened down with a screw to keep everything uh, so that it's going to accommodate IP67. This one here is uh, a lot more rugged and a lot more secure in the way that you get to that wiring chamber. Okay, two choices of locking mechanisms again, just like the other one. Same reason why you choose one over the other as far as the advantages or disadvantages. And uh, this one has four stainless steel actuator options here. So again, we're ma matching stainless steel with a stainless steel head, uh, long lasting uh, tools that are gonna be able to be working with. As well as all models have an integrated manual release mechanism that can be optionally added. It is, there's one that's actually on the front of this one on the left hand side. And there's also, if needed, there's one that's on the inside, where, inside the gate where if you need access to get out of that in case of an emergency, there's an optional one that you can attach to the back. So it's not as easy as just simply unlocking and locking because typically the voltage coming to the coil is already going to carry out that function. It's just in the case of emergency that you need to get in there. And if you did unlock it, it takes a special tool to be able to set it back for the uh, run position. So there is going to be probably somebody that's in charge of being able to gain access to that switch because he's got the key that matches the setup on that uh, assembly right here. All right, many different actuator and monitoring configurations and internal contacts. Again, a lot of these are going to have some variation of how many normally closed contacts do you have? How many uh, normally open contacts? And are we adding the uh, contacts for the monitoring in series with the safety contacts? That type of thing can all be derived from the model number that you choose. Okay, here's another feature on the SIGL42 where there are two models that have been established that you see down here, if you can see them. These two are going to include some quick disconnects that are already attached to the body itself. And the reason for this is because of uh, a special uh, in-series diagnostic feature that we can include into our safety controllers and the in-series diagnostics is something that you need to be able to attach sometimes some non-safety or I'm sorry some other safety devices that don't have built-in ISD technology so this is just a switch that's going to deliver two closed contacts that open up that's what this connection is for and it's going to be able to be attached right into our ISD type of, uh, of setup as you see here. The ISD Connect, which we'll talk about in another presentation, um, is something that you can now have just two close contacts from anybody's uh, safety switch. It doesn't have to have the technology built into it. All of that technology is in this component right here, and that can be tied in string with a lot of other safety devices that you'll discover in another presentation coming up. All right, what else is special about this new switch? There is uh, a nice sliding hand, ha handle actuator that can be added to a uh, SIGL42. So now you have a really, really sweet uh, handle that you can grab and open up and slide a door open. And uh, once it's closed, you can attach the locking so that you can't get that off again. That's all going to be attributed to the mechanisms that are connected to the switch itself. 
So all this is is a phys physical body that allows us to be able to open and close that door. The big difference between these two model numbers is that the SHIR on the end of that signifies that that model is going to have a release handle that's attached to the back where you're on the inside of the, uh, the uh, area that you want to get out of. You can simply use that as kind of an emergency uh, release, if you will, to open up that door.